is glass quality important when choosing rifle scope magnification? How much magnification do you need and can you have too much of it? Hi, I'm Tina from Target Tamers and today we're going to talk about what rifle scope magnification do you need to help answer these questions. In my opinion, this is sort of a tricky topic to cover because everybody's needs and wants will be different. But there are some general guidelines that can give you an idea on how much power you need for various applications and distances. Those guidelines used to include a well-known rule of one times magnification for every 100 feet. So take a three to nine times scope and you would see a 100 yard target as if it were only 100 feet away at three times magnification. This would be the same as seeing a 300 yard target as if it were only 100 feet away with max nine times magnification. This is a great rule for hunters and seeing groups at the range. But then there's also another rule of thumb which is considered the standard which is one times magnification for every 100 yards while red dots are excellent for getting on target at uh, 100 yards to go further than that can be quite limiting with this rule of thumb you must consider things like your vision quality type and size of target time of day the conditions and the terrain so this just goes to show that personal preferences will always rule the parameters of how much magnification you need we came up with the rifle scope magnification distance chart with popular magnification ranges for common applications and various distances. Is glass quality important? There is no amount of magnification that can make up for poor optical quality. It is always the better compromise to go with low magnification to acquire that higher glass quality for clear, bright, and resolvable images. This is a good principle for hunters to follow that are shooting in low light conditions. High magnification scopes demand more from the optical system. So in high powered scopes, look for quality glass components and coatings. This type of advice should be followed by long range and competition shooters. Magnification can only provide so much as the glass is able to provide. Can you have too much magnification? You can. With more magnification comes more rifle scope weight, more cost, you lose brightness and resolution in the higher powers, and you narrow the field of view. These drawbacks can have legitimate consequences in various applications. For example, like when you're in the timber, having too much power and a narrow field of view can significantly reduce your target acquisition time, not to mention the image quality in low light conditions. But then on the other hand, say a thousand yard bench rest, not having enough power can limit your long range reach. So application matters. If you're hunting, terrain matters. Many eastern and timber hunters aren't taking shots, say, past 200 yards, so something in the 2 to 10, 2 to 12 times range is more than enough. If you're in big open country where long range shots are common, then the 4 to 16 times range is a good place to start. Low magnification shouldn't be disregarded here either, as you may need to crank down that power for better optical performance in low light conditions. When it comes to competition, many F-Class and PRS competition shooters like their high powers, say in the 5 to 25 times range and higher. If you're shooting 3-gun, having the widest field of view and then some power to engage those longer range targets may drive you towards the LPVO in the 1 to 6 or the 1 to 8 times configuration. Many have even gone with the 1 to 10 times magnification even though they're not using it past 8 times. As you can see, there's a lot that determines what the right rifle scope magnification is for you. For more detailed information, scope recommendations, check out the written best rifle scope magnification guide that will be in a link down below for you. The guide will also cover subsections on the drawbacks of having too much power and other rifle scope considerations to think about. Thanks for tuning in today everyone. Don't forget to like, subscribe and get outside.